Guys, for cheap and reliable coins, check out MuleFactory.com and use the code OWENFIFA at checkout for a discount. You can see, guys, they have loads of different coins up. Obviously, the prices will change as the game comes out more. It's cheap, fast, reliable. They do comfort trade, 100% legit, straight to your account for the cheapest price on the whole internet. Guys, I have started a free Discord. The link is down below in the description. Please do click and join the Discord. There'll be lots of different trading tips, stuff like that, in the actual um, Discord itself. But also, guys, I have started a Patreon. You can feel free to join at any level you like. See how it is. Um, you can make lots of different coins. I'll give extra tips, basically, you know, up to the gold tier where I will trade in your account for you and make you lots of coins. I'll be expecting you guys to make probably 1 million, 2 million per week with this. So, obviously, it's a very good value thing. So, yeah, I hope you do enjoy, guys, and I will see you all very soon in the video. Hey guys, welcome to Day. welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today I'm going to be showing you a great method, but just wanted to show you guys as well that I did manage to sell on the managers from yesterday. Uh, you'll see there, 3.5k one. If you, didn't see, if you didn't see yesterday's video guys, go check it out. We made some very nice coins, and this proven to you that we did sell on. You can see here, we do in fact have the Guardiola still, but um, yeah, other than that, the other two did sell on very quickly, so that's very easy. We're going to go and show you today's method though guys, something a little bit easier. For you guys with a lower coin, so you want to start by putting in shadow into here, and then you want to go gold rare, and you want to just find the average price. I think it's about one and a half k for most, maybe like one four, obviously. But this is where you don't want to go in here now and put in like maybe one one. Have a look in here. We see how many are up, and you look and now at like the 59th minute. Um, you'll see how many are past the hour. There's only one. This is perfect now. So you want to go now and search this up. So you want to keep searching in and out. And you want to look for deals basically that you think might be profits. Not all of them are going to be profits. This is the thing that you've got to learn. You've got to figure out that which ones are the deals and which ones aren't. So obviously you've got to keep searching here. I'm going to go with regular and being a deal. It might not be. This is the thing. It's a massive like... Basically, what I'd say it is, is basically a roulette at first. You've got to learn which players are deals and which aren't. But there's so many coming up all the time that you can go through. You basically, now you can see there's two up at this price. So I now go in here and just bid 1.3k. Get it out of the way. Refresh. You'll see now. We'll go back out. Um, we'll go up with some of the transfer list for now. Um, we will check them after. Don't worry about that. And then we go back in here now at 1-1. One, one, and we just search back to the 59. Because it's only like six pages, something like that. And then we see what we've got going on here. So we get back here now. And you see all the deals are back. And this ZH for me is definitely a deal. We do miss it, unfortunately. But obviously that is normally a right wing. So obviously that is definitely a deal. Um, you just keep searching, waiting for more deals to come up. And Felipe here at 700 again. Another deal. There's just deals every minute. Like just constant deals. Like Barella, I don't know his price, but I'm going to take the risk. Like uh, That could have been a deal, I don't know. But that's basically what you got to do here. You've got to take the risks on them and just see if you can make coins. That and Naki Williams is probably a stupid deal, actually. I probably will regret doing that. Um, probably got to get the money back for it, but it wasn't really a profit as such, which is what we're going for here. Obviously, Renato there is massively overpriced. Just his normal price, basically. Uh, you don't want to be going for that. 900 for Lucas Hernandez, though, is absolutely insane. Uh, gutted we missed that one. Uh, 6.5k overpriced. Um, there and 2k for Klosterman, that's definitely a deal. You can see there's loads of deals going. You just got to basically be fast and learn the prices. Once you've learned the prices, you're sorted. That's the thing here. You've got to learn them. And once you have, you're pretty much sorted. 3.3 for Chan is definitely a deal too. Uh, Aki, it's uh, <laughs> see what I mean. They're just constant. Like, there's so many deals. Like it's just constant, constant, constant deals. Like there's like Ferran Torres 2 1. I'm gonna buy that and see if it is. Barella 4 5. Um, those are Barella a minute ago, so something tells me that might be a deal. This guy here 2.9, definitely overpriced. See if anyone did buy it, because this is always interesting to see if people do pay the overpriced ones. Unfortunately, well, unfortunately for them, no, they didn't. Um, yeah, we might lose coins on all these that we buy, but overall, once you've learned the players, you will make profit. I'm doing this blind, basically, like you guys. I've seen this method out there, and I thought I'll give it a go. So that's the perfect way to do it. Since just one three, I mean, that's a great deal. Um, I couldn't actually get to it quick enough. 7k for Palinio. I'm sure about it. Yeah, look, he's 7k normally. So, I mean, you probably get 8k for him um, very easily there. Rudiger, probably a buy. I'm not going to buy it, though. Um, Torres again, actually, there. I'm not going to buy that one again. Romeo here. Romero, probably a buy actually if it's still there I will buy it, it's not. Pepe, probably not a buy, um, we'll leave that one. Alaba 10k, you don't want to mess with that really. Um, it's never going to be a deal. Um, someone's listed that just out of a pack I think pretty much, 1.1. 1 .1. 
10k, like the standard start price and thingy price. Rudiger 3 4. I'm going to take a risk on a Rudiger because there's been a few come up now. 4k as well. This will be a way to see. Has the 4k one sold? It hasn't, which is probably worrying actually. But yeah, Wynaldum 4.5 there. I mean, again, I don't know Wynaldum's price and I think it's a lot less than that, so I'm going to leave it. Um, it's just trial and error. That is the perfect way to describe it. That was definitely a deal on Jesus Navas. I wouldn't buy Chan at that price. Um, there seems to be a lot of chance coming up. Um, but you don't have to list these for cheapest either. That's the great thing about this. I'll buy another regular on that. It's sold. That's a good sign for mine because I paid one five. So that's good news. Um, you don't have to list these at the min price either, which is always perfect. One two for Pepe. Yeah, I didn't get that one unfortunately. That's the problem with some of these because they're so cheap. Um, people are doing the other filter three eight for Rudiger. Yeah, I need to stop Brian Rudiger. I think I think they might be overpriced. Let's just have a look. Uh, yeah, they are. I'm probably just going to break even on them. Romeo for 1.5 is a good deal, I would imagine here. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a couple more and we'll just see what we do overall and what we break even and what we make profit on, stuff like that. Uh, Camavinga is definitely overpriced at 3k. Um, but yeah, guys, there we go. So I'm going to just quickly wait for one more. I'm going to buy this mana last as a last deal and just see if it's a profit. Now, this is my list of players here. So we've got Barea and Paulinho first. So we're going to go now and put in... You don't want to list them cheapest, even if you got the coins, you don't want to go and list them at cheapest. So bear that in mind. We're going to go to about 5.5k here now, see what's going on. 5.3. You can see this is an easy 5.2 sell very easily there. So 5.2 we'll sell him for. Then Paulinho here. This guy is... Oh, shit. And that's the manager's. Uh, Paulinho will type me then again actually. Um, I can't type for some reason today. Paulinho, and we'll put that to Shadow here. Um, Shadow, we'll go 8k, see what's going on there. 82, yeah, so 8k is an 8k sell. We'll just buy that one as a striker as well. We're going to sell this one on here now. It's a Hunter, enjoy a Shadow and a Cam. So we're going to list this one up for 8.3k for 12, uh, just for a day because I'm not going to be on really anyway. And this one here, 5k, it's not a massive profit but it'll do. Paulinho in a striker, we're going to list up here for 9k because it's a striker. Nice profit. And then in that, we're going to go with Rudiger next one. I know Rudiger's not a deal. These are mistakes, I think. Um, so we'll get them out of the way. Rudiger here, maybe like 4, something like that. Yeah, he's in a mistake. So that's that's a perfect example. I don't know the market either, 100%. He's like a 3-3, three, 3-2. Three, three, I think I'll have to get 3-5 for him though, which is probably a bit of good news. It means he'll be able to sell him on um, for 3.5, which, I mean, on that one is only, what, 5? That's basically the Barella loss. Um, there, and that one will be 50 coins lost, so it's not a massive issue. Um, the next thing will be Inaki Williams and Ferran Torres here. So we're going to go and put in Fernand Torres first of all here. I don't know what he's going to be like. This is a total like gamble because obviously, I'm, is it Ferran? Oh, you know what would be easier. It's just with Torres and um, Ferran. There we go. So three six. So you'll be able to get. I mean, easily two seven for him. He's an easy two seven sell. Um, and then Anaki Williams here is an easy two. Probably two four. So 2, 4 and 2, 7. You've got to be patient, like I say. You can do this a different way where you buy orders and list them up instantly. But, like, yeah, it's not insane. Somebody, this is the first time you're doing it. If you do this all day, imagine you're doing it all day with an account where you've got, like, 500k on. You can fill the transfer list up, keep buying. It's going to be a great amount of profit, pretty much, here. So this man less is looking like a 3, 3, I think. Something like that, maybe. Um, 3, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a loss, yeah. Romeo, for 3k. So maybe 3-2. And we'll check it for Romero now. This one I think is going to be pretty good actually. Um, yeah, so we're going to get to like 2-7 for him. So that's a nice profit there. And there's some more, actually not some more deals here. Let's have a look. 2-8, 2-9. I've gone too far again for God's sake. Probably gone now. 2-7. Yeah, I'll buy that one there and list it up at 2-6 as well. Very nice. So we'll go, oh, it's a profit actually. We've made 50, uh, 150 coins on him. And then these ones will go 2-7. Seven. 700 coins on that one and 1.2k on that one. So I'd say all in all about 8k profit there in literally 8 minutes, including listing them up. So it's about 1k a minute, which you cannot complain about at all. Like there's no... There's no reason to complain about that amount at all. Like, that's perfect. Obviously, that'll just um, get out of it at some point anyway, so it doesn't matter. Just leave that there. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do drop a like, and please do subscribe, guys, if you are new. We're getting close to 6,300 subscribers now, so if you can hit that, it would be massively appreciated. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very soon with a brand new video.